Good evening. I want to talk to you this evening about John chapter 4, or the first 42 verses of John chapter 4. <clears throat> and uh, this is about Jesus meeting a woman at the well. But before we get started, if you would, get your Bible and open it up to John chapter 4. And you follow along with me because I'm not going to read the verses individually, but if you have your Bible, we can... You can follow along with me. And uh, before we get into it, I want to talk a little bit about the 12 tribes of Israel, the northern tribe and the southern tribe. The northern tribe and the southern tribe, they just did not get along. But then when <coughs> uh, Joshua was dividing up the land back after they went in and took control of the promised land, divided parts of the land up, to each one of the tribes. And of course they were 12 tribes, 10 tribes in the northern uh, northern territory and uh, two tribes in the southern. But they just could not get along for some reason. But they all, originally they were 12 brothers. And the, 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 all the 12 tribes originated from 12 brothers, the sons of Jacob. And, but, as, as he got them divided up, they, like I said, there was not, not unity. But then when King David came along, he united the 12 tribes into one nation, the, the Hebrew nation. And uh, they, they lived in peace as long as David was, was there to, to be the king. But then when David went on and passed on, then Solomon come along and then the other kings, that, but they, they fell apart again. They just could not get along. And after, after they were separated again, of course, the Assyrians come in and invaded the northern kingdom. And of course, overrun them. And they carried a lot of the Hebrew people away out of, out of their homeland. But they brought other people in. And of course, they intermarried. And uh, of course, this is the reason that the southern kingdom Jews would just, would just not accept them as true Jews. They just thought they was, they just didn't accept them. But uh, there was, there was trouble there. This is the reason I'm saying this is it's pertaining to the trouble between the northern and the southern kingdom. But uh, the Jews just would not travel through Samaria. They'd go around. But then we get to Jesus in, the, in, the, in John chapter 4 and Jesus meeting the woman at the well. And it says, Jesus had to go through Samaria. And I say, why did Jesus have to go through Samaria? You know, he didn't have to, but it, it, the Bible says Jesus had to go through Samaria. But then he and the disciples were traveling through there and they'd come to a town in Samaria, Sychar. Well, there was a well there, and Jesus sent the disciples on into town to buy some food. Well, while Jesus was sitting there resting, <coughs> a woman come along to get water. And uh, she had a pitcher to put her water in to take back home, but Jesus was sitting there resting, and he was thirsty. And he said, would you give me a drink of your water? And the woman said, you're a Jew, and I'm a Samaritan woman. And Jews don't speak to us. And <clears throat> Jesus said, if you knew the, what God had for you and what, who I am and why I am here, you would ask me for a drink of this living water that I can give you. And she said, what is this living water? And he said, it's the good news of Jesus Christ and <clears throat> went on to explain to her, and she said, would you give me a drink of this living water? And of course Jesus did. Now I ask you, do you remember when you drank the living water that Jesus had to offer? Wasn't it a beautiful day? Do you know of someone that might like to have some living water? Offer it to them. Jesus told us that the and before he ascended into heaven to go ye into all the land and make disciples. When ye are the when he said go ye, we are the ye's. 
So we are to spread the good news of Jesus. And of course, here in this story, he's calling this the living water. But we know what he's talking about. But anyway, the Samaritan woman took a drink of the living water or took Jesus in for who he was. <clears throat> well, then she went back to her, her town and told the, all the people there in, in, the, in her area who she was talking to, and she said he was the Messiah. And, and they believed. And then they asked Jesus to stay there with them and, and to, to be with them and to, to talk to them. And he stayed a while. But for this woman's testimony to those people, all those people believed in Jesus Christ and come back and come to know Him as their Savior. <clears throat> and talking about the this, to me there is two teaching points in this John chapter four. You know, Jesus shows no partiality to anybody. Every, all creation is, is, is equal in, Je in God's eye. And Jesus accepts everybody. Just like he accepted this woman as a creation of God. But he also called her to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. And I say there that Jesus calls men and women out to do his work to spread the good news of Jesus Christ. But then he also showed no partiality to whoever human beings created by God. We are not to judge. It says, judge not, yes, ye be judged. But I just want to say again, the two teaching points of John chapter 4 is God calls men and women to do his work. And Jesus himself showed no partiality to no one. We should not if we do. But we as brothers and sisters in Christ love our neighbor as ourselves and we go forward. Thank you and I want to just word a little prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time <clears throat> that we can sit and talk to our friends and just remember what Jesus has done for us when he gave us that living water. We pray, Father, that we would always be in the frame of mind of our friends and neighbors out there that might not know Jesus as their Savior. Just love them as Jesus loves us and show the love of Jesus Christ and what he has, what he has done for us and, and the way he's done it for us. Father, again, we do thank you for the blessings that you provide us. And we do love you, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.